Okay, part B, it says find the velocity of the train when t equals 20. So um, t equals 20, so we'd around there, aren't we? Right? Roughly there. And we want to work out what the velocity is. So if I just put roughly on my sketch here where 20 is, it's about there. And we want to work out what the velocity is. So um, if I just use my ruler, we can see that where it hits the line there. So my velocity is going to be along there. Okay. It's going to be here. Now, I don't know what that is. They're asking me to work out what it is. So it's going to call it V. All right. We need to determine what it is. Now, we can use this relationship that exists here. Acceleration equals change in velocity divided by time. Okay. Good thing is now we know what the gradient is of this line. We know the gradient is 0 0.5, which is the acceleration. So we can use that formula idea again. Acceleration equals change in velocity divided by time. And the acceleration, of course, we worked out to be the, the gradient is 0 0.5. Change in velocity. Now, what is the change in velocity? Well, what we need to do is to draw another triangle, okay, so that V is involved. All right, so if I draw a triangle here, okay, right, so now you can see, right, I draw another triangle, okay, I can work out the gradient, remember the, the rise divided by the step. Now in this case, the rise is going to be that change in velocity, which of course the change will be that gap there. So it'll just be V take away five. Okay. And divide by the time interval, which is just that interval there, which is 20. Of course we know it's got to be equal to 0.5 because that's the gradient of that line. And then you've just got a little bit of maths algebra to do to work out v so we take the 20 up times so 0 0.5 times 20 is of course 10 so then take the minus 5 over and you get your answer to be 15 so v is 15 meters per second okay so remember the units of velocity there um, so we've got 15, and you know, you might think it's sort of common sense as well, because this is a straight line here, right? If you think about it, 20 seconds out of 30 is sort of like two-thirds of the way along, yeah, in terms of the time, 20 seconds interval of that 30 seconds is two-thirds of the way along. So then the velocity would have changed two-thirds, if, if that makes sense. So from 5 to 20, it's increased by 15 meters per second, okay? from 5 to 20, 15 meters per second over the 30 seconds, but over 20 seconds, which accounts for two thirds of the time, it would, it would be two thirds of that change. So two thirds of that gap of 15, two thirds is just 10, isn't it? So if I add 10 onto five, you get, you get uh, 15, which is my answer. But you know, using the formulas really does help you get to the answer quite quickly.